Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a full upper body workout, pretty much back focused. I am very freaking tired. Tuesdays are track days and your girl is beat, but we're gonna warm up a little bit and we're gonna get into it and hopefully I wake up. I probably should get some pre-workout too. We're gonna do that also, but let's warm up first. So first you wanna grab one of these bars and we're gonna do some very simple behind the head, over the head rotation. We're gonna get around 10 and then we're going to do it in circles. Really try to stretch out your side lat, especially if you feel really stiff. I also kind of like to put these behind my head and have a neutral spine and give myself a little lower lumbar rotation because my lower back is always stiff. We'll do some scapula push-up. So here it's not a full push up. All you want to do is just contract your scapula. Ooh. Ooh, my lower back. And then we'll do some scapula pull ups. So, same concept. All right, let's get some pre-workout and start the work. All right, y'all, so I usually take my creatine with my iced coffee, um, but I did not have coffee today, so I'm just gonna throw it in here. I also have a fat burning pre-workout, or it's a pre-workout that has fat burner in it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna try it today to see how that goes. And to be honest, I don't actually use pump on upper body days, but I'm gonna put like half a scoop of it in here today. I really mainly only use pump on legs, but we put a half a scoop in there now. I also don't know what flavor any of this is because this says it's anime flavor and I'm not sure what that tastes like. And this says it is, they're both anime flavor, but they're different colors. This one is giving orange and this one is giving grape and it's feeling like fruit punch. It doesn't taste bad. Doesn't taste like it doesn't go. All right, let's get it. Jesus. Do a little bit less than a minute rest. And we have five sets in total. So five sets of 10 reps on the pull-ups. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting better. What I will say y'all about pull-ups, if you don't use it, you will lose it. Like that's a real thing with pull-ups. I have, I'll show you guys a video. I have a video of me doing like 15 pull-ups with no band, just straight, just bah, 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 bah. And I haven't done pull-ups in months. I could get three by myself right now and it's embarrassing, but it's something you have to constantly like practice. That, that range, that motion, um, that pull, it's very different. Like, it's not like you're about to do 100 lat pull downs and then get up on here and then just be excellent because my lat pull downs have been getting stronger, but my pull ups have not. So, understand it doesn't translate the way you think it's translating. You still have to train pull ups, okay? You got to do pull ups. Four more sets. No, two more sets. I have like a pull in my shoulder. I feel like there's no trick to getting into this without praying. <laughs> like. Ooh. All right, so we have a two by 10 chest supported row. 
and then one set of a drop set. Guys, program your workouts and then track the weights that you're doing because you have no idea how you're progressing, what you need to do, where you're going wrong. Like really data is king. If you're not collecting data with everything, not just the gym, like in business, in life, like track everything you're doing because what the hell, you're just walking around like a zombie. Um, so we got two by 10. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna see what these weights feel like and then we'll take it from there. Thirty, thirty-five for the next one and then the third set for the drop set we'll do like 35 30 25 and i'll do 10 10 10. um the 25 felt good i think if you're just kind of like brushing through it it'll feel a lot lighter if you're focused on tempo it'll get you where it needs to be a lot of times you don't need to go heavier in the weight what you need to do is you need to control the weight and focus on your movement and breathe through your movement. To that regard, I could do like single arm dumbbell rows and I end up with like 45s, 50. But here I really wanted to focus on like flow, tempo, breath, and muscle. We're gonna go up to the 30s and then we'll go up to the 35s for the last set. One minute break. All right, so we got a 30 and I got another 30 here. Got about 20 seconds left. Stretch forward is just as important as the squeeze at the top. Get both. Set my timer. Let's get about a minute break. Holy crap. All oh, my arms are on fire. Eee. So I did six reps with the 35. I did eight reps with the 30. I did 10 reps. Ah. <laughs> All right, next exercise, y'all. If you're still with me, if you're still alive. In the words of my husband, Always leave every place better than you found it. So re-rack your weights, y'all. And then next up we have gorilla poles. Gorilla poles, really, you look like a gorilla and you're gonna be on the ground doing this. Um, but I like to get just a little bit more range when I do them. So I'm probably going to put two plates under my feet and elevate them. So let's do that. All right, babes, if you are creating a workout for yourself and let's say specifically back day here, or you want to avoid doing redundant exercises, basically exercises that are just working the same muscle group. So when you are doing something like a pull up, it's essentially equivalent to doing like a lat pull down, right? So that's a vertical um, movement. So you don't need to add them back to back, right? And then if you're doing something that's horizontal, so it would be a seated row, which is a horizontal movement or these rows, these gorilla rows, right? This is still a horizontal movement. You don't need to add a whole bunch of volume in both of these back to back. So if you have a back workout and it's all vertical movements, there's a lapse in the way you're programming and vice versa. If you have a back day and it's a whole bunch of horizontal movements, then there's a lapse in the way you're programming. So try to keep the exercises working muscle groups that are different. So that way you get all of your back muscles worked out. So I'm thinking 25. 
So we're gonna do three sets of 20 shoulder shrugs with the 25s and it's a super set. So we're gonna start with lying face pulls. I like doing shrugs, y'all. So I have a pump. So this is the last exercise. This will go by pretty quickly. We have five sets, 10 reps. So if you hear me say we got five by 10 or two by 12, that's what I'm talking about. The first number is always the amount of sets. The second number is always the reps. So we have five by 10 and we only have a 30 second break. So time your break because these are gonna go by quick. Really, it's for a pump. So let's get it. It's gonna be dumbbell hammer curls at the same time. your timer 30 seconds only I think I'm gonna go up to 20 pounds because I feel like this is a little too light and then if I need to drop I'll drop got 10 seconds left on the timer take these breaks serious especially when I program workouts I'm very intentional with the amount of rest that I'm giving in between the exercise it's there for a reason um, time about to say I feel the pump but your girl drank pump so that's why We're done. All right, you guys, so that is it. That will complete the rest of the workout. If you guys have cardio that you have to do, if you guys are on a cut, highly recommend doing cardio. Keep in mind, you want to make sure that your heart rate is very low. You don't want to tap into like a high intensity workout because you will hinder muscle growth progress and you'll stop um, your, your muscle protein synthesis, right? So you want to keep your heart rate low. Low steady state cardio is the best or just wait a few hours and then do cardio later on. I'm most likely going to do cardio tonight and I have 50 minutes for today because I'm supposed to do 20 minutes fasted in the morning and then 20 minutes, 30 minutes post-workout, but I didn't do my fasted. We're just gonna split the cardio up throughout the day. And that is it. I hope you guys liked it. If you want more workouts, you can always follow me on Instagram. And if you like my YouTube style workouts, then just subscribe for more videos.